Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cher. So today I have a huge haul for you. Oh my gosh, you guys. Got to go to the city again. I actually ended up taking Megan to the airport. She's spending a couple weeks with her dad for spring break and I carried on and I went shopping. Oh my goodness, did I go shopping. You're definitely gonna wanna stick around, see what I got. You might wanna get yourself a little beverage, find somewhere nice and comfy to sit because this one's gonna be a bit of a long one, but you are definitely gonna wanna check out what I found because you might wanna go see if you can find some of these items for yourself. So I'm gonna start with the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And as always, I like to begin with the food related items. So first up is just this box of lemon cake mix from Duncan Hines. I had a really hard time choosing between a couple of cake mixes. There was so many kinds at the store that I went to, I couldn't get over it. Anyway, so I came out with the lemon and then I also grabbed a box. This one I thought looked really yummy. This is a salted caramel brownie mix, also from Duncan Hines. Anyways, I thought these would come in handy with, you know, Easter and spring and summer coming. I'm sure I'll find a use for both of these. So I picked up two of these large glass containers that Dollar Tree sells. I love these things. I've recently just started storing my fruits in these in the fridge. I don't know if you guys have tried this yourselves, but I've been having really good luck with keeping like things like berries specifically, like strawberries and raspberries, um, blackberries, any of those kinds of things definitely keep a lot longer in these jars. Apparently you can do things like celery and asparagus and avocado. I'm gonna try some of those out next. So I thought I'd better grab a couple more of these jars. They are $1.50 at my Dollar Tree. I'd love to hear if you guys are also doing something similar with storing your fruits and vegetables in glass containers and what kind of success you're having. So I just grabbed one of these little air fresheners. They had many different scents, which I thought it was kind of cute that they had all these little scratch and sniff areas so you can try them all out in the store. Totally took me back to like elementary school days. Oh my goodness. This one actually smells really good, the Island Punch. Hopefully this will make my car smell a little better and get it all ready for spring and summer. I love it when I can find name brand products at Dollar Tree. So when I saw this, I thought I'd better grab it. It's from Chopstick. It's coconut flavor, three in one. It uh, moisturizes, renews and protects. And this is going into my purse. Another name brand product that I love to pick up from Dollar Tree and hadn't been able to find for a while and I was completely out are these little Dove hand lotions. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. It works really, really well. It's definitely moisturizing. It does have a little bit of a strong scent. However, it's not too overpowering. I actually can't stand too many like really strong perfumey things and it doesn't bother me. So yeah, if you see these, you might wanna grab them. They are awesome. Just again, throw in your purse or just to have them in your car. So now I'm gonna get into more of the spring and Easter goodies. I found some more ribbon. Oh my gosh, I am such a sucker for Dollar Tree ribbon, but when it's this nice, I can't help myself. So I found this one, this is new to me. It's got the little bunny on it. And then it also has, look at this, the little bunny butts. How cute is that? And again, I love this color. This turquoise is beautiful. And this is one of my favorite ones here too, to make things with. And actually that's what I used on this wreath that I made here recently as well. Um, this isn't all Dollar Tree. However, the little bunny cutout here in the back is, I painted it and then I just added some flowers on here. I made a couple of bows. These roses came from Dollar Tree. These flowers came from Dollar Tree and all the ribbon came from Dollar Tree. So I'd say it's about 50% Dollar Tree, but I absolutely love how this thing turned out. I don't have a video showing me putting this one together. Sorry guys, but uh, if you can find ribbon at your Dollar Tree, of course this stuff goes really, really quickly too. So you wanna get on it as soon as you see it for all the seasons, but it comes in really handy for making stuff like this for sure. So I found some more wooden cutouts, this time in this whitewash. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree. So this one I actually had to paint. This one I won't have to do anything to really. I have an extra one of these little uh, pom-poms. I could just simply glue this right to this little bunny and it would be good to go. Maybe even put some little flowers here along the top to make like a little flower crown. I think that'd be really cute too. They also had the egg shape, so I grabbed one of them as well. And one other item that I was really excited to find was the egg shaped wreath form, the wired wreath form. I was really on the hunt for the bunny. Uh, I did not find the bunny, but I was happy to get the egg one anyway. So I'm hoping to make something with this soon. So speaking of bunnies, I think I found the most adorable window cling that I have ever found at Dollar Tree. Feast your eyes on this. And yes, one of them is missing. I'm gonna show you what I did with this one in just a second. But isn't this bunny just the cutest thing you have ever seen? Um, so this one I've already taken off and I thought I would just put it on a candle that I already have here, just kicking around at home. That's what it looks like on the other side. And I literally just stuck it right on here 
And when I'm done with it, I'll just stick it back on the on on this thing so I can use it again next year. But what a great and easy way just to dress up something you already have at home. Now, the idea that I had for the bunny, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. But while I was at Dollar Tree, I did find this frame. And I'm pretty sure the bunny will fit in there. Um, I'm going to paint the frame white, I think. The black just doesn't really go, especially for spring and Easter. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do um, and maybe do some kind of a background in behind it. I'm not really sure yet, but I just could not resist this bunny. Another item that Dollar Tree gets me on every single time are their homemade looking cards. They bring them out for every holiday and look at this one I found for Easter. Oh my goodness. Again, this would be really, really super cute in a frame, uh, which is probably where this one will end up. So I had to grab these adorable little tin buckets. Oh my goodness. I grabbed one of every different kind they had. And let me just show you close up because these are so sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry about the glare, but look at the bunny and they're printed on both sides. So that is, that is a bonus for sure. Then we've got the little truck. So cute. And if the blue truck wasn't good enough, they brought us a pink one too. I thought that was really cute with the carrots and my favorite of course <laughs> look at the gnome oh my goodness happy easter so i have an idea for these i think i might actually fill them up with soil put some little plants maybe some succulents and one of those little um wooden signs from dollar tree with the little steak on it and i think these would make adorable little easter or spring gifts uh for my co-workers so i think that's what i'm going to do with these little buckets and that'll be really really cute and the last two items that i picked up from dollar tree are just these two adorable little garden steaks oh my gosh you guys can't get any cuter than that right there so every year I put together a special Easter basket for Megan and she loves it. She looks forward to that every single year and she's already asked me, Mom, are you going to do that for me again this year? I know she's 17, but she loves it. And you know what? I get just as much enjoyment going around looking for stuff. I like to tend to put more practical things in it now that she's getting older and not so much candy. However, I did find these little uh, peanut butter cups from Palmer. We've had these before and they're actually pretty tasty. So these will definitely make an appearance in her Easter basket. So now I'm going to share with you the items that I picked up from Dollarama. And the first one is this box of cinnamon cookies. These are some of my new favorites. Oh my gosh, you guys. And you know what? They're actually not that bad either. You get three cookies for 160 calories. I usually just have two and these go really well with a cup of tea in the evening if you're into that kind of thing. And then the other one that I'm also really enjoying right now are these maple leaf cookies. These are really yummy and you get two for 140 calories. So I try to stick to under 150 calories for my little treat that I have in the evening and these definitely fit the bill. So my boyfriend's birthday is coming up here really soon. He's an April Fool's baby and he has requested a Reese's peanut butter cup cheesecake. So I picked up these two items with that in mind. I plan on cutting these up probably and putting them into the whipped cream on top of the cheesecake. And then these little minis, uh, these were $2 and I believe these were $2 as well. You get eight in here, I think, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, you get eight of them in here. And these I'm gonna actually put right into the mixture. I think that's gonna be really, really yummy. So hopefully that turns out. And if I get a chance to, maybe I'll even share that with you guys. So now that's officially spring, I saw these and thought I better grab a package of these. I like to put these outside uh, both of our doors, the front and back entrance. And sometimes I'll even put these in the kitchen as well. Um, kind of like even under the sink area, just in case. <laughs> because I hate ants and this, these actually work really, really well. I've had really good success with these before in the past. You get four in here for $4 at Dollarama. I'm not sure if that's a great price. Um, I just was there and I didn't want to have to go to the hardware store. So that's why I grabbed those. So you guys have seen me haul floral from Dollar Tree many, many times, but I don't very often even go and look at the floral at Dollarama. But boy, am I ever glad I did yesterday. Look at this. I could not believe the beautiful flowers they had in their floral section. They had lots. Now these are obviously more than $1.25, like it's what we pay at Dollar Tree, but the quality is so much better. Like look at these peonies. So you get three of them here for 
three dollars and they're gorgeous the color oh, they're just they're beautiful so I got those and then I got these long stemmed roses like how realistic do these look they even have like little thorns on them <laughs> so you get let's see two four six and they're all different sizes like look at the little bud here I just think these are so beautiful and this one was three dollars as well so next up I found this cabbage rose bush and these were a dollar seventy five and you get two four six on here how pretty are these? Now, Dollar Tree does sell uh, cabbage roses as well, but they are not this nice for sure. And then the last two things that I found were just these really nice greenery pieces. Um, so this one looks kind of like eucalyptus, and this one was just $2. There's actually a lot on here. I really liked decorating things with these. And then this one, they're just calling it a fern bush, and this was $1.50. And again, these are nice big pieces. So, and they're not all squished up or bunched up or wrecked. So I was really happy to come across all these florals. So yeah, I definitely had to come home with some of these. So we do have a home sense in the town here where I live. Oh my gosh, you guys, home sense has been very dangerous to me lately. <laughs> they have so many beautiful things. I decided I better pop into the one in the city just to see if they had anything different. And I did find a few things that I just, I couldn't resist. First one is this adorable little Ray Dunn bunny mug. So this is a saying that Megan and I say to each other all the time. I call her honey bunny and she calls me mummy bunny. So this was $7.99. I'm gonna put this in her Easter basket full of goodies. And on the back of this, I think I'm gonna use my Cricut. And I have a font um, that I that looks very much uh, like the Ray Dunn font. It's called the Skinny, I believe. If you guys are into that kind of stuff, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I think I'm going to put on here, Love Mummy Bunny on the back of this mug. And I think she's going to really, really like that. I found another Ray Dunn piece that I absolutely fell in love with. And it just jumped into my cart. Look at this bunny. Oh my gosh. I love this. And it's one of those yellows that isn't... You know, it's not overpowering, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just the perfect yellow, especially for spring and Easter, I think, in my opinion. And I paid $19.99 for that. And yeah, I will definitely find somewhere for this little guy. So I've become a huge fan of these no calorie, uh, no sugar flavorings that you put into your coffees. I also put this in my porridge, my lattes, all those kinds of things. Oh, I just, I love them. And they come in so many different flavors. When I saw this one, I just had to give it a try. This is the Maple Bourbon. And this was $6.99. So yeah, I'm excited to give this one a whirl. And then I found this set. Actually, I bought this exact set just before Christmas for myself, for my coffee bar. And I just finished all of them actually here the other day. Um, this one has seen better days though. It got a little squished. It, you know, they're not... They're not broken or anything like that. I was kind of hoping that maybe they'd take a few dollars off at the till, but they didn't. <laughs> Anyways, this one comes with the vanilla, salted caramel, and the mocha. And these are really, really yummy. And this one is uh, $12.99 for the set. And I think that's such a great deal. If you, these make really great gifts as well, this would be really cute in a gift basket or an Easter basket maybe if you had somebody that enjoyed that kind of stuff with their coffee. Anyway, if you see these, you might want to give them a try if you're trying to, you know, watch your sugar intake. I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, the artificial flavorings and the artificial sweeteners, but they're definitely helping me keep on track and I love experimenting with all the different flavors for sure. So next up we have some items from Walmart and these are all going to be going into Megan's gift basket. So I grabbed a couple pairs of shorts for her. Walmart has a lot of spring and summer stuff out right now. So you might want to get in there while the selection is still really, really good. Like these shorts were only $12 and uh, yeah, so I got this kind of, I don't know what you call this. It's almost like an army print kind of thing. And then just a plain black pair as well. And then I found some really, really cute t-shirts they had so many to pick from so i've recently introduced megan to guns and roses uh we love sweet child of mine whenever that comes on the radio we definitely <laughs> have lots of fun with that song so when i saw this i had to get this for her so these little t-shirts were let's see here these were 12.97 and yeah, I think she's really gonna like that. The quality isn't the greatest. They're quite thin, but for summer, you know, you don't want anything too, too hot anyways. 
And then the other one that I grabbed, again, I've just recently introduced her to friends and she loves it. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun watching a bunch of reruns recently. And uh, so yeah, when I saw this, I had to get this one for her as well. And this was also the same price, I believe. Yep, $12.97. So I saved Michaels for last because my two most favorite items actually came from Michaels and you're going to see why. Holy moly. Yeah, this I just I fell in love with and all of their spring and I'm not sure if summer's included in that as well, but their spring stuff is all 40% off right now, you guys. So if you want to get in on some of this stuff, you might want to head on over to your Michaels, especially if you are a fan of strawberry kind of decor. They had a lot of that at Michaels uh, when I was there just yesterday. So this originally was, um, what's the original price of this? $19.99. So 40% off brought that to $11.99 for this beautiful picture, but it doesn't stop here. Wait till you see the next one. Oh my goodness. Check this one out. <laughs> I just love everything about this canvas. The flowers, the color of the truck. It's even got like, um, it looks so realistic because the, the paint strokes here, they have like extra paint over top of some areas here just to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. So this was originally $29.99, 30 bucks. That's a lot to pay for, you know, like a canvas. But with 40% off, it was only $17.99, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that I found it. And yeah, definitely going to find a place for this. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. I will be doing an Easter tour here pretty soon. You can bet this is going to make an appearance <laughs> in that tour. And that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. I know it was a long one, so if you stuck around to the end, thank you. I'd love to hear what your favorite item was out of everything that I showed you here today. And until next time, I hope you're all doing well. And if you're on spring break, have a great, healthy, happy spring break. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.